हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आज हम लिमिट तो बेस्ड प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व करेंगे जो हम पहले हमने प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व की थी वो डेफिनेशन बेस्ड डेफिनेशन पे सॉल्व डेफिनेशन बेस्ड प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व की थी अब हम जनरल अल्जेब्रा ऑफ लिमिट यूज करके और अल्जेब्रा के फॉर्मूले यूज करके लिमिट फाइंड करने की करेंगे कोशिश तो चलो कुछ पहला कोशिश करते हैं लिमिट 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 एक्स टू जी की टू ऑफ टू एक्स प्लस वन सो नाउ हाउ टू सॉल्व लिमिट लिमिट ऑफ फंक्शन के पॉइंट फर्स्ट वी सब्सट्रूट द वैल्यू नॉट रूट चेक फर्स्ट वी सब्सट्रूट द वैल्यू टू व्हिच द लिमिट द फंक्शन टू द टू द वेरिएबल जो बची द फंक्शन सपोज एक्स इज लिमिट एक्स टू टू ऑफ दिस एफ एक्स So we will place x by two in the function. If this value is uh, is not an inter inter indeterminate, then this will. So in this case, this is polynomial function. Polynomial function we take this we can take this to the values. So two to the power two plus two x to two two by two. This is the indeterminate indeterminate form. So this is the indeterminate function. F x as x to the power two very negative or positive. Check this. Now next is the rational function. Polynomial function. So rational function. Limit x plus two one from negative of x to minus one upon x plus one. Then this is the function. Limit x plus two one from negative of x to minus one upon x plus one. Now not a limit. We can replace x by minus one. First step. While solving problem of limit, we first substitute the value and we check that whether the whether this uh, uh, the function have a determinant form or indeterminate form at this point. If it is in indeterminate form, then we will proceed ahead. If it is determinate form, then then the the limit. So to put the value minus one zero is so zero zero by zero. So indeterminate form. The next step is uh, can we can we use formulas to subtract them? Yes, we subtract them and try to cancel out the quadrilateral uh, so that the zero. When we replace x by the the point to which the limit is approaching, uh, this will be this will be removed from the denominator, and that will be the limit. Now, the first denominator is the minus three square, a minus three a plus three, a plus three cancel out. Now limit now this is the polynomial function. Limit x is minus one equal to. So this is right. We can because this is polynomial function, we can at least replace uh, x by minus one. Similarly, again, same procedure. Limit x equals to two of x square x cube minus a upon x square minus two. So now let's apply two. This will be eight two two three two three is eight two two three four zero by zero four. Same little form. So next step is we can't get the limit by taking the substitution. So we have to see the problem and then see. We can we can use formula a square minus b square upon the numerator and then the denominator a square minus b square. So use the formula. Our approach our approach approach is to remove for the factor of the denominator which converts the denominator to zero. So apply them cancel the bar count factor. Now this become rational function and the domain of this rational function is equal to All real number except x minus two. This two is the domain, so that we can substitute the value. Get that, right? Now this is a new function. Now domain of this function is equal to domain. This function was uh, all real numbers except plus two minus two. When we had we had cancelled out the counter from the when we divided this function by this function, because this function is a function. The domain of this rational function, rational function is all real number except minus two. So this two is also in domain, so we can take the substitute the value and we can take the substitute the values and get the limit. Right? So we are removing the factor, that factor which makes the denominator zero. We are trying by by uh, rationalization, by uh, by formulas, by any use of uh, the algebraic uh, formula or anything or rationalization and other proofs. Evaluate the limit h equals zero of one plus h is to n upon 
minus x divided by h. Again, if you like h is equal to zero, this will be good. H is equal to zero, I go to the zero zero form. So in return form. So now, in order to solve this, n is a positive integer. <coughs> so uh, x limit x is equal to zero is here. So if if we place of h or other limits are there and this this become a formula. So for in order to calculate this, we have to use binary form for an index by so positive integer because the integer the power is the power of this factor is minus h is an integer. So binary form for positive integer a plus zero then equal to n c zero a for n b for zero n c one a minus one b to one and so on to n c n is the zero to that in the first step. So now our aim here is to, to just remove this term which is which is making this uh, limiter zero from this. So we will uh, we'll concentrate upon the first two terms. First term we'll remove this term that first term will remove in the final extension of this first term will move this factor and second term will decide the limit so we will consider on the and rewrite this is. so we will use the value symbol and this is equal to nc nc0 is equal to 1 x equal n x equal n x equal 0 nc1 is nc0 nc1 is equal to n x equal n minus 1 h and so on plus higher plus Terms containing higher power of h, so of two h is there, right? We consider only only two terms, not the higher terms. We don't waste time in considering these terms. And so higher h h h h k h k equal to h k n, right? Now, when we simplify it, simplify it, we got h is for n cancel out. H comes out in common from the numerator from the numerator and uh, h from the numerator and the we cancel out cancel out and we are left with this this term does not contain h and other terms h h square h cube h square n minus one okay as h equals zero this term goes to zero this term remains uh, x and x square minus one it is equal to h so this will remain is constant which is to this limit and other will be h h is here zero 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, so we call it 0, limit comes out to be n, x is for n, right? Got this point? Okay, we will consider it among two, on the only two terms. This term, which we cancel out, first time we will cancel out this, and second term will decide the limit. Same procedure here. Now, evaluate the limit. First step is, put x equal to 0, this will uh, 8 third root of uh, third root of 8 into 2 2 by 2 0 0 upon x 0 0 0 0 in return form now now the index of this 8 plus uh, h is equal to 1 by 3 so we can't use here the binary term for positive integer so we use binary binary term for n index so for that we have to convert it to convert it into 1 plus x so this is equal to left hand side limit x is 0 2 common 1 plus x by 8 to this power 1 by 3 minus 2. It is what taken out, it common from here. Third root of 8 is 2 and divide by 8, divide by 8, divide to uh, 8 from here to come out and this is equal to 1 plus x by 8 to this power 1 by 3. So after using balance for, uh, for balance for any integer 1 plus nx, 1 plus n is 1 by 3. And now again, we consider upon the first two terms. Same as we did in the other problem, we consider upon the two terms. First and second term, plus terms containing higher power of x. So in the one binary, binary term for an index, we have infinite, infinite number of terms. But in case of binary term for positive integer, we will have uh, the terms one more than the uh, index of the uh, uh, index. Index of this, this is by no means. <coughs> now, okay. now first term plus high term, right? So we will give them again 1 plus nx is equal to 1 plus nx and then from 10 to 13. Okay? Now, again, I'm making clear this thing. This is 1 plus 1 by 3, I'll this and plus term will then have all that, so I'm going to 
to one to three. Ah, now multiply by two. One side by two. Multiply two cancel out. Cancel out and this thing too. And as limit as taking out x come from this each term. As is building this is building every term. So it is common. And so one side by two. And limit will be. This is now. The term which is independent of h will give the limit, will decide the limit of this. Now it's independent of h, and the other terms up to infinity will contain h. So as h equals zero, every term will become zero. So this therefore limit will be one by twelve. Now let's discuss one more beautiful example of uh, uh, limit does not exist. Now limit does not exist. Uh, prove that limit exists implies. The question itself uh, is, you know, is uh, giving us hint that we have to find both the limits. If left limit and right limit both are not equal, then then and even then limit does not exist. So, this question be, and this is uh, because the reason this model assumption uh, this behavior is uh, different in the left neighborhood of zero and is different in the right of zero. So that's why this this is polynomial function. This is a model assumption. This is a polynomial function. So, modulus function is creating. This is a uh, sum of two uh, polynomial and uh, uh, modulus function, and the quotient of polynomial into modulus function. So, the behavior, the more the domain of there will be intersection of all of these functions. So, so the domain of any of the any of the constituent constituent function will play the role of the in finding the limit of function. So, let's decide. Uh, let's get the limit zero. This is zero. Zero. This is in different form. First, same procedure. Now, let's find the limit in that left limit. Limit at x is zero from all three. X upon one to seven. It is substitution. X is equal to x is equal to zero plus x. As in x is zero from positive. X is equal to zero. Or x is equal to zero. All in from positive. Limit is zero. Substitute the value, substitute the value, simplify them. H minus H minus H is equal to H is zero for both two H. H plus one. Ah, uh, so now cancel cancel out the common factor. Is equal to common factor. Then limit H is zero of one plus one is equal to one to plus one. Limit of one, limit of one of one. Limit of quotient, quotient limits. Limit of h is zero of one. Limit of h is zero of one. Limit of zero of h is uh, zero of h. Is zero one of one. One plus zero is equal to one. Now similarly, left hand side limit. Limit x equals to zero to negative of the uh, uh, of x upon modulus x plus x squared. Now again, uh, if put x is equal to zero plus h zero minus h. Sorry. As x is zero from negative, it is equal to zero from positive. All in for x will be zero. All in for positive. So we can substitute here. Essentially, x is equal to zero minus x, zero minus x, modulus of this plus zero minus x whole square. Limit x is zero. That is zero of uh, minus x upon also minus x is equal to h. Also minus x is equal to h of x square. Again, cancel out the common factor and then limit of the quotient for the limit. Then sum of the sum of the sum of limits. Into limit minus one x is zero, zero to h minus one. Limit of one is one. Limit of x is zero, zero. It's equal to minus of one. Now left limit is equal to right limit is equal to one. Left limit is equal to one implies limit of this. Again, this is the example of how limit of this. Again, the question two question uh, is giving us hint that limit does not exist. Means we have to find both the limits. Or we know the answer that both the left limit and right limit, as x approaches to a, a, are not same. We know the answer also. Left limit, left limit, limit x is equal to positive of modulus x minus a upon x minus. A. If you replace x, this is different from x. Replace x by a, same procedure. This is zero. Now make substitution. Put x is equal to a plus. A plus H as X is to A from positive, H in from zero, always from zero from positive. Making substitution, M is zero. A plus H minus A, A plus minus A, A minus cancel out, and cancel out. We will have a depth with limit as zero of modulus H upon H, 
or is x equal to x to 0 and positive x upon x is equal to 1 and so on. before finding the limit at the last step last step we have to we have to cancel out the common factor always we have to cancel out the common factor then find the limit wherever we want to find the limit we have to cancel out the now similarly index is equal to a from negative of this if you substitute the x is equal to a from such as the x is equal to a negative it will give up a point point here make a substitution index a limit limit uh, x plus 0 of a minus x minus a a minus x minus a this is equal to a cancel a cancel in, in the limit that is denominator we are left with limit x is equal to 0 of all minus x upon one side smaller side minus x equal to x x minus x equal to Place the one common factor and take the limit. Limit of constant is constant is minus one. one. Left limit is equal to uh, minus one. Right limit is equal to one. Therefore, limit is equal to one. Now, next question is: Evaluate the limit x to zero of e square one upon x whole upon e square one upon x. Right. Now, e e is e is power one upon x e the value of e we know that like between is equal to 2.27183 so e is for 1 upon x we have to discuss in order to find a limit what is this behavior in the left as well as right we are not uh, we are not given any hint in this question to evaluate this limit so e the value of e we know that is equal to the value of e is equal to how much the value of e is value of e is e the value of e is equal to 2.7183 so its value uh, will decide the limit so we have to discuss this value the left side is the left limit of 0 as right limit zero. so left limit 0 and right limit so in order to find the value of the left limit 0 Let's find the limit. Limit x is 0 from negative of e square 1 upon x upon e square 1 upon x plus 1. Now put it's a big substitution x is equal to 0 minus x. As x is 0 from negative, it's 0. What you always so make it put substitution x is equal to 0 minus x. So limit will be changed from x is 0 from negative to x is 0 from all the positive. Limit x is 0 from positive. e is for minus 1 upon x upon e to minus 1 upon x plus 1. Now, limit as a 0 of e power minus 1 upon x is equal to 1 upon limit as a 0 of e power minus 1 upon x. Now, x equal to 0, 1 upon 0 is infinity, and e is equal to 2.7, 2.7, 2.7, 2.7, greater than 1, when this could be infinity, infinity, x e is equal to 2.7, raised to power infinity become infinity 1 will be equal to 0. So limit of this is equal to limit of x equal to 0 of e power minus of x equal to 0. So make the limit of this upon this. So limit of this is equal to 0, limit of this is equal to 0, limit of 1 is equal to 1. Similarly, we find the right limit, limit x is 0 of e power x minus of x upon e power minus of x. Again, make the substitution, same substitution, x is 0. So after making substitution, we got limit as zero of e power one upon x upon one upon e power one upon x plus one. Now, now it's not so easy to uh, discuss it. And now we have if x is zero, this will become how much? This is infinity, infinity upon infinity. We will convert this infinity form to uh, to from by dividing numerator and denominator of this by same number e power or shifting this to the number or dividing the number shifting this one upon e power one upon x to the number one and same thing or dividing the number by e one upon e power x and the number one here uh, the, 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 this function means this number to the number to the same number this is cancel this cancel this one upon or this function becomes limited to zero or you can convert it this one upon one plus e power one plus now as it is zero, this will this become zero. We will discuss it in here. We will discuss it here. As it is zero, e to one minus seven is equal to zero. So, so, so the value is zero, one. So 
left limit uh, left limit was how much left limit was zero and right limit is equal to one for this function is very beautiful example and this question is based on this this step only we have to right limit of this step And that's all. If fx is equal to x into the distance function, for x, then show that limit x is one by two of a two. Now, again, the hint or problem gives us gives us that uh, we have to find both limit x is to one by two from positive to negative, and the density means both limits are not same. Answer is here in the problem, right? So. You always, when we solve the problem of mathematics, you have to, uh, you have to see the answer. You have to just uh, guess the answer before solving the problem. Now, limit, you have to find left limit. Limit x is 2 to 2, 1 to 2, positive. x of x of x into the integer of 1 upon x. Now, 1 upon x will, we have to uh, study uh, the values of uh, uh, this integer function uh, if x is integer. Now, it's a fraction. So we have to, as we are not clear when x is equal to, to, to which number this one can be approached. So for that, we made a substitution. As x is equal to positive, implies x is equal to 1 by 2, right? If you put 1 upon x is equal to, yeah, 1 upon x is equal to, 1 upon x is equal to y, or y is equal to 1 upon x, y is equal to x, so, 1 upon x, uh, if x is uh, greater than 2, then 1 upon x is will be less than equal to less than 2 means y approach to 2 from negative. As x is to 2 from positive, if you put 1 upon x is equal to y, then y approach to 2 from negative. So now, then if this picture, this picture will decide, this picture will decide the value of the greatest means. That's why you make this situation. Right? Limit x is to 1 by 2 from uh, x is to 1 by 2 from positive x x integration to function by 1 x is equal to limit make substitution limit x y plus 2 from negative 1 upon y uh, 1 upon y uh, uh, into greatest into function y limit to the product product limit limit, x, limit make substitution to plus x y is equal to 2 minus 2 minus x 2 plus x Two minus x as x y plus is two from negative as equal to two from negative as equal to this value of this equal to one by two and value of this equal to zero is equal to two from negative two minus x two minus zero x one number is positive is equal to one. Okay. Similarly, similarly, uh, limit x is two one by two from negative. Negative again same substitution here. This is going to be negative by the different function. So same substitution. Put the x is equal to put x is equal to one by two one by two. As x is equal to one by two to negative, this x is less than one by two, or one by six is one by two, put x is one by two to y by x by is one by two and the x is one by two. So substitution again, but limit x is to one by two from negative x into this is one by x. Put here limit x limit y plus two to two to positive one point y is and again make substitution y is equal to two plus h so and change the limit limit is zero of one upon two plus h greatest greatest in this function two plus h this equal to value of this is zero is equal to two limit and limit of this is equal to product product of elements limit of this is equal to uh, two plus h two plus h greater than two so x is greater than two limit the greatest in function value is equal to two one. So the left limit comes out to one, and right limit is uh, equal to half. And limit is half, left is one. Implies limit of this function, limit of this function, this function does not at as x is one to two does not exist. Now let's see the next question. Evaluate the limit x x approaches to infinity of two x cube minus four x uh, plus seven uh, plus seven upon. 3x cube minus plus 5x minus 2. Now x approaches to infinity. 
so infinity infinity minus infinity so is infinity in different form in different form we if we replace x by infinity this is different form or uh, degree of liberty is the same so the best way to solve when limit approaches infinity is we convert we convert this uh, we we'll divide limited into a such so a number so that so that uh, the uh, terms of the uh, the function convert into one of one upon the uh, general value. So we have taken a look. I think power is x cube x cube. That comes. We have we want to uh, search for the terms. The term element of x will give decide the uh, the limit. So x divide limited by x cube into x cube. And so okay, all can take or take out the common x cube from x cube from numerator, common from x cube, numerator from numerator, and cancel out the constructor. And now limit of limit of the quotient quotient limit. Limit of two is two. Limit of this is equal to four upon x x x is infinity. Four upon infinity is zero. So zero. Zero zero. zero. Similarly here zero zero. Limit is equal to one dot two. Now next question is. Now let us discuss one more problem on limit. We are given a function f x. This is split function, and the function uh, e x plus three. If x belongs from zero to less than x equals to two, and e x plus three x if x is greater than three, means domain of this function is from zero to infinity, and the doubtful point is two, two. So now we'll discuss the limit of function of x is two where it exists to now. So for this, you have to find the because it's a limited function, so you have to find the limit left limit as you will try. So limit x x approaches to two from negative f x is equal to the function is is two from negative is equal to is equal to a from negative. From negative is is equal to limit x is to a of x is to two from negative of a x plus three. Now this is a polynomial function. This polynomial function we get this into the way of the substitution x is equal to two minus x as x x is to two negative to zero. So we just make so we have to make substitution. We got limit x is to zero of a into two minus x plus three. As it is zero, it will be as zero. This is two a plus three. First, now right limit. We have to determine the limit of the limit. This means left limit will be right limit. So we will find left limit first, and we will find right limit. We will write substitution from positive a plus three x. Now again, make substitution. X is equal to two plus x. As x is two to one, it will be zero. So after substitution, this is equal to this is equal to limit. Limit x is equal to zero of e plus three into two plus h as is zero is equal to e plus three. Now the limit at two exists means left and right limit from first and second equation first. Equation first gives this e to three. So e three e to three when this function is the limit of function. Equal to the limit of this function f x and this point two. Now next next question is suppose f x is again a split function is equal to a plus b x by x less than one and four x equal to one and b minus a x by x equal to one. The domain of this function is all the number. The output point is one. And we are given if limit x is to a of f x equal to one, then what are the Means the the function is the limit at this and equal to the function that point. Means the this if this function find we have to find the limit a and b so that the function point is set. From this it means left limit we got a three question here left limit at one is equal to right limit equal to one is equal to the function. So we got two equations here 
con su iglesia cubana no quitan tanto de Dios. Si quieren es, <coughs> you'll find limit x is to 1 of fx is equal to f1, f1. Implies limit x is to 1 from, limit x is to 1 of fx is equal to f1 implies limit x is to 1 from negative fx is equal to limit x is equal to limit x is equal to f1. So we find limit f1 is given to be 4, we find the limit x is to 1 from negative negative. So when 4, x is 1 from negative of x is equal to, uh, limit x is 1 from negative, so it uh, implies dx, so the this is a polynomial function. We can take this into or we can take this into x equal to one, or we can make some function x equal to one plus h. And as that, as you add that to one to one k, or you can choose what we can solve the problem. So we got the limit of this function f x as x is to one to one k is equal to. Similarly, we find the right limit. Right limit is equal to. Now this is again a polynomial function. We can take this into is equal to one. So this is equal to <coughs> B minus it. Now substituting the value on first and third. The question first we got is equal to A plus B is equal to 4 and B minus A, B minus A is equal to 4. In the equation, if you know, this is a system of sign based equation. We add them, we got A is equal to 4. We subtract them, subtract them, A is equal to uh, 4, we add them, we beat what we do 4, so we have to be here, we have to be here, we to be and then a is equal to 0, we have 4, this function becomes continuous at x to the 1. So, this example connects the um, limit with continuous function. Then the limit x approaches to infinity of and root of 1 minus 1 plus x minus and root of 1 plus x. Now, this is when x, when we put x is equal to infinity, infinity plus 1 infinity is the infinity one. This is the infinity integral form. In, in, in this case, we have to rationalize that as we can sign. We want to intersect infinity, so we rationalize it. This is short function, voltage short function, rationalize it. So it must be given to me. This can be here, x plus 1, minus x minus 1, x root x cancel out, so this is equal to, this is equal to 2 upon this. Now, as x is infinity, it's infinity, plus 1 is infinity, infinity, 2 of infinity. Will you limit of <coughs> x is 2 from negative of greatest change function x square and limit x is 2 to positive of greatest function x for 2. We can solve this problem two ways. Uh, after one by making the equal complete function. One solving the equal complete function. Composite function. Let f is equal to x square and g is equal to this greatest in function x. Now the mean of this function is all the numbers. And g is from g to g. Do we look from g is equal to all the inverse ranges? Now, range of fx, range of fx is the domain of gx. Means, composition is defined, g of f of x is defined, is written as this. Defined, then, then g of fx, g of fx is equal to g of fx is equal to same now first we find the limit of the function fx fx as x goes to whatever the limit is given is the limit of the inside function for the from the inside function fx so limit x is to to, to to negative of x square is equal to now this is the following function so this can go to index in zero is equal to we can make substitution x is zero x is equal to plus h to minus h as x is to from negative x is to zero from so, this is substitution 0 to minus x. So, squaring it, squaring it, index 0 is equal to 4 minus 0 minus minus. As x is equal to negative, then this uh, fx equals 4 from negative. 
Yeah. So this is very small number. So this is comparable number. So as it as it is very small means this is identical number. So means this value this is very small negligible. This is a very small number, so it's less than four mean as x will become positive, then this fx will grow four from negative. We have to see it on the diagram also. This is probably the diagram also. Now, similarly, limit x now. Now, fx. Limit here is. We want the limit of the output here. The output should be a bit earlier. We have to place x by fx by x in cx. Because cx is equal to g of x to g of fx. So, limit of fx will be in here. Limit x is minus 4, dx is equal to and limit x is equal to negative of this is x, this is equal to x integer, this is this, this is a integer, limit x is equal to negative equal to a x is equal to 4. And this can also be solved in the way, and say this, I solve limit x is equal to the negative of this is x square is equal to this function of limit x is equal to negative of x square is equal to limit and this is a function of limit x is due to its optimal institutions. This will limit x goes to 0 or x to minus x goes to 0. So this will do the token here. So if x goes to 0, it is limited to 0 from 1. So that is a function. This will do. Now, squaring it. Squaring it means again, same logic. If x is 0, it is a very small number. This is less than 4. 4 minus this value will be less than 4 equal to 2. In similar way, I am solving this problem also. We will take the x to be equal to some positive of greatest simple function x equals 2. This is equal to whole cube of greatest simple function of 2 in x to be equal to positive. x to be positive, substitution here, x to be equal to plus h, plus h, as it is equal to some positive. So this is whole cube of limit x to be 0 of 2 plus h whole cube is equal to <coughs> when x goes to 2 when x times 2 uh, 2 and 3 this will change to 2 now then there is the limit x to 0 of x where x is equal to this is the minimum function is all the numbers and the uh, drop point is 0. So we have to find the limit of x at 0 from positive and this is So we can see this net is positive, x is 0 plus h, this is negative, 0 minus h. As this is 0 from positive, this is 0, so it's negative. So after uh, this positive function will be positive function will be x minus 1. So x minus 1. Plus x minus 1. So that's 0 to 0 to 0 to Similarly, 0 from negative, so that will be 0 from negative. 0 from negative is equal to 0 minus 1. That will be 0 to 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 0 And the is the value given at minus 1? Minus 1. Now evaluate the limit x is 0 to positive of 1 minus x less than function x minus less than the amount of x. Limit to sum of some of the limits again, if positive, change the limit to h, make substitution, limit to sum of some of the limits, limit of constant is 1, limit of x is 0 is equal to 0, limit of uh, is 0 of uh, this is function x equal to 0 plus x, limit of x, x set is 0, x is x 0 to 1, so this is 0, and 1 plus x, this is 1. So 1, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1. This is this, this, 